What is up you guys? Welcome back to another one if you are new to the channel. I am Gold Pony. Today we are in the new 2019 Ford Edge courtesy of Bob Ruth Ford in Dillsburg, PA. I am quite excited to be in this one because it has been completely redesigned for 2019 and my sister has one so did want to take a look at the new one today. So as always, let's start with pricing. And so when it comes to pricing on the 2019 Edge, pricing will start at $29,995 for the SE trim level. However, with options, pricing can get as high as nearly $50,000 like the one we are in today. But let's get into the fun stuff. Powering the 2019 Edge, there are two different engines available. First one is going to be specific to the SE, SEL, and titanium trim levels, and that is the one we have today. And so this engine is going to be powered by a 2-liter twin-scroll turbocharged inline four-cylinder engine, putting out 245 horsepower, 5,500 RPM, 275 pound-feet of torque, available at around 3,000 RPM. Power is going to be sent to the front wheels. That is going to be standard, at least. If you wanted the all-wheel drive, simply add $2,000 to any of those prices I just said. And that power is going to be sent to the ground through an eight-speed automatic transmission with MPG numbers coming in at 22 in the city, 29 on the highway for the front-wheel drive, 21 city, 28 on the highway for the all-wheel drive. But like I said, there is one additional engine setup that is gonna be specific to the ST trim level. Yes, there is an ST trim level on the edge for the first time ever. And the best thing about the ST designation is it is indeed more than just cosmetic upgrades. Powering that one is going to be a 2.7 liter twin turbocharged V6 engine that is gonna put out 335 horsepower at around 5,500 RPM and 380 pound-feet of torque available at around 3200 rpm power on that one however is going to be sent to all wheels all wheel drive will come standard on that one again sent to the ground through an eight speed automatic giving you mpg numbers coming in at 19 in the city 26 on the highway and so before we do any kinds of crazy accelerations today in the 2019 edge one additional thing i wanted to mention there is a s button just in the middle of that circular shift dial there and when you press that that is the sport mode so what it did for me just then is it did immediately downshift for me it's going to be holding the RPMs at a little higher level than it would otherwise, giving you more power on demand. So having said that, let's do a quick little acceleration now that we are in that sport mode. And let's see how quickly we can get the 2019 edge here up to speed. And here we go. <laughs> okay. Definitely pretty quick. I will say, when I hit the gas, there was a little bit of delay, otherwise known as turbo lag. But once it kicked in, man, it pinned you in the back of the seat. It was quite fun. But so then to go along with that acceleration, braking is equally important. And so you would expect there are four wheel disc brakes for every single trim level of the Ford Edge. And as always, let's do a quick little brake test. And there goes all my stuff. <laughs> Braking is definitely on point, no issues there. Steering feel is definitely quite nice as well. It does have a little heavier weight, in my opinion, to it than some of the other SUVs that I test drive, including my own Hyundai Santa Fe. When it comes to ride quality, it is pretty much on point. Here's the real test. I got some railroad tracks here. Yeah, actually, that is not bad at all. Definitely no issues with ride quality. Cabin noise is probably one of the first things I noticed when I got in this one. Probably sound a little bit louder in this video because there is lack of noise coming into the cabin, so that is a good thing. And when it comes to visibility, I have a giant sticker on my rear view mirror here, but once that sticker is off, visibility isn't all that bad. I will say it's not quite as nice as the Ford Escape I recently test drove, but that in part is due because it has a more aggressive appearance on the exterior. It is slanted more in the back, so there always are sacks sacrifices to be made when you have a little better looks to the vehicle but ultimately it really is not all that bad but enough with the driving dynamics you guys you know what it's time to do next since this one has been completely redesigned for this year let's check out the exterior on this new 2019 ford edge up front you will find a revised front grille for 2019 along with halogen headlights to the side however if you went with the sel trim level and up you will also find led fog lights just below and if you go with the titanium that we have today you will also get led headlights up there but then make your way to the side there is rear privacy glass for every single trim level. SEL trim level is also going to add roof rails up top there and body colored side mirrors with integrated turn signals as well. 
Looking down at the wheel setup, SE and SEL trim levels will give you 18 inch aluminum alloy wheels. Titanium is going to come sized up at 19 inches and they will be nickel painted aluminum wheels. That's what you're looking at right now. And the ST trim level is going to size that up once again to 20 inch aluminum alloys. But making our way to the back on this one, there is a rear spoiler with an integrated brake light, rear window wiper just below and just below that, LED tail lights, which again has been completely redesigned for 2019. You can also find trim level badging if you were ever curious what trim level you were looking at on the lot. And just below it all, dual exhaust outlets with chrome tips for every single trim level. ST trim level, by the way, is gonna integrate those exhaust outlets into the rear bumper. But anyways, you guys know what we have to do next, as always, here is that exhaust clip. And so but now since we are around back, when it comes to opening that rear hatch, there is a button on the key fob if you like, and that is optional for every trim level but the titanium where it is going to come standard for you. And that titanium is gonna give you a hands-free lift gate by the way as well, so just kick your foot underneath of that one and it will open up automatically for you if your hands are full. Once opened up, one of my favorite parts about this one is when you lift up under that floor there, there is underfloor storage, a kind of cargo management system if you will, because it is divided into different sections. And there are also grocery hooks back there as well that fold flat into the side of the cargo area so they don't get caught on anything. Also found that very interesting. You don't see that in many SUVs out there, but cargo capacity is gonna come in at 39.2 cubic feet. If you needed more space, fold that second row down that bumps it up to 73.4 cubic feet. And in that second row, by the way, there is second row LED lighting as well. So no more halogens there either. And you will find rear ventilation, not only behind the rear seats actually, which was surprising because there isn't a third row. So I guess that's to cool whatever you have in the cargo area, but you will find it in that second row as well. And there are some optional packages that will give you rear heated seats as well, which is what I have today. Then make your way to the front seats. You will find a cloth finish on the SE and SEL trim levels. Leather is gonna come with the titanium and the ST, and ST is also gonna add Miko suede inserts if you were interested. SEL trim level and up is gonna give you power adjustable front seating there. And the titanium and ST trim levels will give you heated front seats as well. Then take a look at the steering wheel. It does come tilt and telescoping. It is leather wrapped for the SEL trim level and up and heated on the titanium. Then when it comes to the startup, let me first start by showing you guys the key here. You do have your Ford logo on the one side and when you flip it over, lock, unlock, button to pop the rear hatch and a remote start, which is gonna come standard on the titanium that we have today. So that was pretty nice. But regardless, all trim levels actually are gonna give you a push button start, which is pretty cool. So I am simply gonna just put my foot on the brake here and press that engine start button. And then what started up speedometers front and center, there are dual digital displays to the left and the right side side to control what is on them. Simply use the steering wheel mounted controls on the left side of the steering wheel and on the right side of the steering wheel for their corresponding sides. To take a look at overall interior quality, auto dimming rear view mirror will come standard on every single trim level as well as an overhead sunglass holder. SEL trim level and up is going to give you dual zone climate control. Also wanted to mention an optional panoramic moonroof that we have today for an additional 1600. You can get that on the SEL trim level and up. And the titanium that we have now is gonna add ambient lighting, which by the way, there's a ton of different colors you could choose from. So I found that pretty nice. Wanted to show that to you guys now since I was actually filming this at the end of the day when it was starting to get dark out. But that titanium is also gonna add a universal garage door opener and a wireless charging pad as well. And speaking of tech, when it comes to the tech there, SE trim level is gonna give you a standard sync system. However, if you go with the SEL trim level and up, that is gonna give you the larger eight inch color touchscreen display known as the Sync 3 system. Either way, you're gonna get Bluetooth and audio streaming. However, Sync 3 is also gonna give you Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. So if you have a smartphone, simply hook it up to the Ford Edge and you have free navigation as well as the ability to like and dislike your Pandora songs. However, if you wanted the factory navigation system, if you live up in the mountains or if you drive in tunnels a lot, that factory navigation system is available for an additional $800 if you wanted it. And when it comes to the sound system, there are three different sound systems for the Edge actually. 
SE and SEL trim levels are going to give you a six speaker sound system. There is an optional nine speaker sound system that I have in my Mustang GT and that is definitely a very nice sound system as well. However, the titanium and ST trim levels are going to give you a 12 speaker Bang & Olufsen premium sound system and that is the one we have today. And so I think you guys know what we have to do next. Let's turn on the radio here, see what we got playing today and let's test out the clarity of this one. <laughs> Absolutely incredible sound system. You guys probably saw my face there originally when that first bass kicked in. It was intense. Definitely a sound system I would recommend on the Ford Edge. And then last thing I wanted to mention when it comes to the tech at least is there is a rear view camera for every single trim level letting you know who or what is behind you which is always is going to lead me into safety. And so to start there are front side and side curtain airbags. Also a driver's knee airbag up front as well. In the back you have latch aka lower anchors and tethers for children along with rear child door locks also standard is a tire pressure monitoring system and before i continue the ford edge has definitely increased the standard safety features for 2019 i wanted to mention that because also standard is going to be a pre-collision braking system with automatic emergency braking blind spot information system with rear cross traffic alert typically in the past that has been an additional package to get that also, lane keep assist and rain sensing windshield wipers, all standard for every single trim level of the edge. That's definitely nice. And I do want to also mention that $800 navigation package will also add adaptive cruise control with stop and go and lane centering and also evasive steering assist. And so, but that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like the video and subscribe. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there, and I will see you guys in the next video. Stay gold.